Hello, Barbagons. I'm gonna paint these. Barbagons, um, with my airbrush, um, with a new primer that I'm gonna mix up right now. So, I'm gonna turn this around so that the compressor is closer to the uh, outlet. Flip it on, make sure it works. It's kind of cold out here, but with the alcohol and the uh, flow improver and the thinner, I think it's going to go just fine. Using a posh single action airbrush. which I just love for priming. What I didn't plan on was something to prime on, so I'll probably do it on. This is pretty expendable. And we'll see how correct I am, but I don't even think it'll get much primer on the uh, um, cover. We'll see. We'll see how neat it is. Okay, the, the hole is nice and clear on that one, so I know that one will work. I also like to have the opening facing the same direction, like that little triangle right there, facing the same direction as this elbow opening. The opening in this elbow. So I'm going to use mixed primer to be flesh color, as I described in probably my flesh one video, the very first one I mixed up that I wasn't that happy with. I see that it's pretty brown. So I'm going to put about three eighths full with this. Looks like this is clogged because it's been a while since I've done anything with it. So take this little reamer and kind of stick it down in there. No, it wasn't really clogged, so it's probably just the ball. So I'll just kind of hold it at an angle. Yeah, there, there it sprays pretty good. So about three eighths full with that. And then I got a new primer, Viejo Mecca primer, water-based acrylic airbrush primer. First time I've seen it say airbrush on it, but they're all for the airbrush. And I'm gonna mix this with it. Up to about three quarters full. Just to lighten it up. And then I'm gonna put about 10 drops of flow improver. And about 20 drops of thinner. Stuff looks real blue on the deck in the daylight, so it's probably got calcifloor, a fluorescent chemical that they add to make it more, look more whitish blue. It's in laundry soap to make it look more white. It's actually kind of a bluish white. Cold white, as a lot of people describe it. All right. Turn on the compressor. This is a press fit. And I just make sure it's, I open it just a hair. Just make sure it's spraying. And then I want to kind of sweep across it. A little bit more. That's a good, really uh, small amount of flow is what I want. Just making 
pretty nicely. It's been hard to paint because I don't prime as thick as I used to. I, I prime pretty thin. But apparently that's the way you're supposed to do it. It makes it a little harder to paint. But I think it's okay. there. Hopefully it'll self-level. My dog loves when I'm out here painting. And I would feel bad to not do it, not let him be a part of it. okay because I'm not spraying very much at a time because I don't have the, um, the nozzle open very far. He's got that big honking weapon next to him so I want to make sure I get in there. Tell me in the comments if I'm doing this too much. Probably am. I just want to make sure it's primed good. We're going to call it good. Thank you, Barbara Gaunts.